David Reed is a two-time Star Search winner. You've seen him on NBC's Friday Night Videos and the Arsenio Hall Show. He's also the morning radio personality on WRKZ Cat Country 106.7. Please welcome country comedian, trendsetter Earl David Reed. I'm just surprised to see all of you as you are to see one of me. Yes. Woo! <laughs> this is better than the first time I performed, though. The first time I performed was at a comedy club. I didn't get on stage till 2 o'clock in the morning. By then, there were only two people left in the audience. As soon as I got on stage and started my act, they just got up and left. And I cried all the way home. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to stop and talk to somebody about it. So I stopped at my parents on the way home, and I said, Mom, Dad, why'd y'all leave? I was struggling out there. Damn. <laughs> Old David Reed, and I'll tell you, I love country music, but I gotta tell you, country music's not too popular with black people. Uh, I remember the first time I went to my first concert, I was walking around going, hey, there's something different here. <laughs> oh, dang, it's me! <laughs> A lot of stuff happening around traveling and everything like that, boy, I'll tell you. Man, oh man, I use terminology black, I don't, I gotta be careful, I don't know if that's politically correct, and hey, I don't want to offend myself, you know. <laughs> Black, African-American, Negro, screw it. From now on, I'm just going to be Swiss Mocha. That's what I'm going to be. <laughs> Forget it. Same black guy with just a hint of chocolate, you know? I don't care who you ever are. You ever go for a job interview, write down Swiss Mocha on the application. You may not get the job, but you'll definitely get the interview. <laughs> well, you're not really qualified, but hell, we had to see what a Swiss Mocha person looked like. <laughs> I was going to wear my cowboy hat tonight, but I decided not to do it. There are a lot of cowboy hats out there, and they all look good. They all look good except for one. That one that's got the big feather right here on the front. You ever see one of those? Only one guy's ever wore a hat like that and looked good. That's Richard Petty. Richard Petty, the only guy. I'm trying on cowboy hats. There's a guy next to me trying cowboy hats on. He puts one with a big feather right here. He goes, you know what? I look just like Richard Petty. I'm going, no, you look like you walked into the ass end of a turkey. <laughs> All your hat needs is a little chin strap with a gobbler on it, and you're good to go. <laughs> Driving around today, I gotta tell you, man, road construction is starting to kill me. I hate when they take three lanes and bring it down to one lane, you know what I'm talking about? And they have those cement dividers on each side of the lane, and you're driving down the middle of the road, you're like, ah, trying not to hit the wall. Are you scared like me? I'm actually tightening my ass up, you know, because I think it's gonna help bring the sides of the car in, you know? I'm like, ah. <laughs> I still hit the wall, but now I can crack walnuts with my ass, so that's, um, Laugh if you want, when the holidays come around, you'll be calling me up to help you make nut bread, so... I spit when I talk. Did you notice that? I'm really sorry. I just... I, mean, I just saw it go, woo! Everyone else is laughing. This woman's sitting there going... <laughs> you ever know the people talk and they spit at you? You try to ignore it? You go, yeah, we're going to the game tomorrow, and, uh... It's worse when food flies out of your mouth, because that leaves a mark. It's like, <clears throat> you know what you mean, man? You want to take these corn dogs off my forehead? <laughs> I spit when I talk, I drool in my sleep. Does anyone else drool in their sleep? You spend the whole night flipping a pillow over to the dry side? So they put me up in a really nice hotel. I can't believe how nice the hotel is. This world's getting really strange. You know, I get on the elevator, just me and this woman. We're ethnically different. She feels really intimidated. As soon as the door shuts, we're in the same elevator. As soon as the door shuts, she looks over at me, really stupid, starts wrapping her purse around her arm. And I'm thinking, how stupid is this? I mean, even if I were the kind of person that wanted to steal her purse, where the hell am I going? I'm in the elevator! <laughs> Could you push four, please?